Well folks, had just a little bit of time after work and uh, before ball games tonight. So I came and checked out a spot that ain't too far from the road. I can get here in 15 minutes walking, so probably three quarters of a mile, mile. Not too bad. Just ran into my first one. I can't tell if... Uh, can't tell if it's been picked, this area's been picked or not, so this one was hard to see, so it's possible. Because I've smashed them in here before. And there is number one. Hopefully there's a bunch more. I have not hit a real good patch of morels, actual Americanas yet, so maybe maybe today. Well, my first spot wasn't any good, uh, so I just picked a random spot that had the right trees, at least look like from the road, on state property anyway. And I'm about uh, not too much into it, but found a nice one, it's fresher than what I've been finding too, which is a good thing. I know it's a little dried out, but we had some 80s. 80 degree days. Squeeze. Leave the root. Hide it so people don't know your mushroom spots. Boom. And this is by Little Elms. Little Live Elms. So, there's a bunch of them in here. A whole bunch. So, we'll see if we can get into them. Well, the number two mushroom was not nearly as fast as the number one mushroom. A little harder to see, probably. It's probably been picked pretty good in here. It's fully mature. So, let's get it. very big one but it'll eat all right let's go find some more I was about to do an intro and say this is where I usually find my first mushroom of the year let's see how it's doing I didn't get back here in time this is leading me to believe mushroom season's about over and that, that that cold snap we had killed off a lot of the little ones, messed up the mycelium growth, and I'm so disappointed in that. That's a monster. But that's what happens when you let them go. I, I keep trying to tell people. Anyway, happy hunting. I'm going to go check a few more spots out now. Uh, nobody's been where I'm at anyway. Just found a nice one. Probably a minute and a half after I found that rotten one, but it ain't super fresh. But it'll eat well. It's been sparse, but better than what I was doing, I should have came here first. It was in my, one of my ideas too, but it just didn't happen, so. That's a nice one. A little bit fresher than what I've been finding. These are sycamores. You can tell by the leaves. That's what I'm looking, that's what I'm looking at now because it seems like season's getting pretty late. And uh, their leaves are so big they cover the mushrooms and uh, takes longer for the ground to warm up even though this has pretty much full sun through here so anyway see if we can't get into a few well it's now Friday April 19th I'll probably go hunting a couple more times this year but hopefully I have a good day today that said 
I'm thinking that 10 days ago we got, we had a heck of a cold front and some sleet 11 days ago. And uh, I think the mushrooms had started and it killed off a lot of the small ones, which I know a lot of you think that they just pop up seven, eight inches, but that's not the case. A lot of times the quarter, half inch tall for a long time until the weather conditions get right. And, uh, sometimes when they're that small, same thing happened last year, it virtually skipped my area because of a mid-April uh, extreme cold front. But anyway, we might get into them. This is where I've had my best luck so far this year, but I've not been finding very many fresh mushrooms or very many mushrooms. And I know I found six or seven hundred, but it's a quarter what I normally find. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll run into a nice patch. Get our poundage and numbers up for the year. First one. Not fresh. That stinks. Second one. Also not fresh. Boom. That is what I was hoping to run into today. Just had a nice rain. I was hoping a bunch of these will pop up. That. Exactly what I was hoping to run into today. These are nice ones. Fresh. That's exciting to me. It's a nice one. They're both nice. But cool. And this is one of my spots, so maybe. No one has been here. Oh, I hope we get into them. That's the third one. It's, the other two were just a foot right. This was under a leaf like this. I just by chance, I almost never flip over leaves, but it looked right. Another gorgeous one. Just came up. Sometimes you just gotta slow down a little. Especially when you get excited. This one's so hard to see. It's there though. Oh, no, it's right there. Fresh. Man, I'm excited. I was worried my season was about over. Um, which it is anyway, because I'm about done. Tomorrow's opening, we, we, uh, opening weekend youth season. I'm gonna take my oldest daughter for her first not her first time, but her first time opening youth weekend. Usually we have ball pra uh, ball games, but now she's a little older. They're not on Saturday anymore. Poplar. Dead poplar. Another mushroom. I haven't moved super far, maybe couple hundred feet from where I first found them and I'm gonna uh, get back over there it's just, I'm gonna check these out first I'm supposed to go mushroom hunting with a buddy here in just a little bit but if I can get into them I'll be a little late circled back around to where I found the first three missed one I was just talking to myself when I came back over here. I usually find a few over here. And this makes me so happy. The adult Easter egg hunt. Not only that, I was get like I said, I was getting discouraged. Uh, the first two mushrooms I found were all dried up. That was a ways back and I've been walking, like I probably walked a mile and a half before I even started looking which I wouldn't normally, but yeah, I would. When I know where I need to be, I usually uh, hunt back to front whenever I know where my patches are. Like I said, though, there's been many times 
my patches didn't produce and right by the truck boom bunches so anyway i hope we get into them uh, thanks for watching please like share and subscribe i've got some other content too uh i need to do some more coyote and night vision videos but turkey season's coming up so if you guys like turkey hunting I'll probably vlog it no matter what happens, kill or no kill. I'm not, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on here, but I'm not monetized, so uh, graveyard or no graveyard. And that's a big boom baby. Awesome. Man, I'm so stoked right now. I can't, can't even tell you because I was... It doesn't matter. We're getting in them. Right there is four nice ones. One, two, three, four. There's a trail up here that I have hit about a 15 pound patch on before. And uh, that's what done it. I'm standing on a dead sycamore, by the way. Uh, those are sycamore branches. Uh, laying in the dirt down there where the mushrooms are growing and this spot just produces like there's a lot of things about mushrooms that i know patterns that you can find them in but there's also unpatternable that's why they're called the elusive morel because uh, they can really be anywhere they pop up in yards randomly uh fields with bushes uh, uh, i don't find them in oaks not not white oaks uh, like I said, pin oaks, but pin oaks is the only oak that I've ever found mushrooms by. But most other tree species, I have, I mean, almost every other one, I have at least, I have found some. And sometimes real tiny elm trees, like, that's not an elm, but the size of that tree or bush right there can be absolutely killer. Let's get to picking. These four mushrooms by weight beat my last three day total. I haven't hunted a ton in the last three days. Uh, I'm an independent contractor, so I get more time off than most. Uh, that said, I worked seven days a week for years. Well, six, yeah. 80 to 100 hours a week for a lot of years my whole 20s basically so when i wasn't in college i did go to school and get a degree and i was in the army so that made it easy to work all day every day because <laughs> it was forced anyway stay tuned uh, next i'm gonna quit filming for a little bit run into a patch and i'll keep you guys informed and see if we can't find the pattern That one's been up a little longer. No rot smell. Just a little burnt. That'll eat just fine. Really haven't hit a patch. There's a lot of footprints. So somebody might have beat me to quite a few of them. That's all right though. Well, at least I got to my spot and picked about a dozen nice ones. I probably got a little over a pound, honestly, because they're good mushrooms. Fresh, fresh ones too. Uh, goal's five pounds today. I've got uh, a few more hours and a property that I know got picked last week. Uh, I'm calling my distant cousin. He's just a kid, but he picked 51 nice ones and uh, a few blacks too, 10 or 15 blacks. So. I've been in the woods before. Like I'll call them my cousins; they're distant relatives, but uh, we have good bond because of mushrooms. They're fanatics, just like me. 
Rick is anyway. He's in one of my shorts from last year. Boom, baby. Another nice one. Well, been walking for a minute. But uh, anyway, this is for my old buddy Rick. I told him I'd give him half of whatever I found if he could put me on some. And this is an elm. And I do believe that's a red elm, which is the kind of elm that you want to find. And this isn't the type of mushroom that usually grows around red elm, but I ain't mad at it. First one. Let's see if we can get into them. Well, it ain't been too fruitful, but here's another elm. And I believe I'm on a cold dead elm. There's a little mushroom. It's number two. Let's see if we can get on to a few. I'm gonna have to slow down and sit down, I guess. Same tree. Another little guy, Diminutivus. These don't put up poundage, but a lot of times you find a bunch whenever you start finding them. This is the third one that I found, because the first one I found wasn't very far away from here either. But this is why we slow down. There's another one. All right. I told you, if I got the chance, I'd show you a hickory. And most people know what shag bark hickory is. I'll show you a better. This is hard to tell. There's a good spot to tell. Shag bark hickory. Got that bark that peels off like that. People think I'm nuts. But whenever uh, a shag bark hickory is touching the ground, you'll find a mushroom. I almost guarantee it. Now let me refine it here. I had me question myself for a minute. Thought I made it up. That's a pretty fur piece of way to find it. But as you can see right in the mix of all the branches and that's how it'll be um, this works on live hickories too if it's got a bunch of branches on the ground i don't know what it is but evidently the mycelium grows underneath the bark and when the bark touches the ground it creates a reason to reproduce would be my guess right that's just an educated guess uh, but i see this many many times last year if it wouldn't have been for hickories i wouldn't have found hardly any mushrooms Let's see if we can live action this. Yeah. Zoom in here. Alright, we got nice elm. It's a year. It's one year past its prime, but let's see if there's any mushrooms up there. Alright folks. I haven't found a mushroom in a long time. And I told you, one of these days I would show you hickories. Um, pignut hickory is a little different. That's pignut hickory bark. I don't know how to explain it. Kind of like poplar, but if you notice, there's a ton of hickory nuts laying all over the ground. And boom. That's the first mushroom I've found in miles. So hopefully ain't nobody been here. We'll see. New woods. Um, haven't been here long, and now I see three, so success hopefully is going to be a little better than what it has been, because I had a rough day. It's already three o'clock. I haven't found many mushrooms. You saw what I found this morning. Sorry about the sun, but I just hit three by a poplar, big poplar tree. And let's see if I can find them all. One, two, and three. So maybe, just maybe, we have a chance still. Just saw a fourth one, lost it. 
I can't find it again, but there's another one over here somewhere. So there's four, but that's half of what I found at the, I probably walked five, six miles. It's starting to make me mad I can't find that other one. There's those three. That's not it, but there's the fourth. This should be the fifth one. That's not the one I saw. I don't think anyway. Finally found it. That was driving me nuts. I knew I seen one that wasn't as easy as the others. It's looking a little too far right. It's hard in the sun. I'd rather the sun not be out while I'm doing this. Makes for shadows. I think I see one up for a piece. These are uh, diminutiva, but they're big ones. Definitely better than what I was doing for sure. Another one. Right there. Another one right there. Whatever kind of dead tree, it looks like sycamore bark right there, so that'd be my guess. Definitely getting into a few. There's one, two, two more. Well, another big poplar. And these are my first Americanas since early this morning. Two nice ones. Perseverance pays off. Put a lot of miles in today for not very many mushrooms and that could change real quick. Now I don't even look in maple trees but the three trees I just showed you are maples and I found some here last year. It's the only reason I came in and looked. I don't know how I seen that guy. Right in the middle of the screen. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. Uh, well, I'm just gonna go over to it. And I say that, but these are baby cherry trees popping out of the ground. Anytime you have small trees popping out, especially kind that produce, seems like a mushroom will pop up with them. Looks fresh, but it ain't that fresh. He's fully opened up. Probably been a few days. Alright folks, I told you hickories produce. Okay, those are hickory branches on the ground. That doesn't mean it's a hickory tree. Shagbark hickory there. Can I point to this it? This is all shagbark hickory. This whole ridge is. And look. Stop. Slow down girls. These are the branches. This is a hickory branch, right next to the hickory branch, just like I said earlier in the video. Is it diminutiva? Is, it, is a Morchella diminutiva. You can tell because it's got more vertical ridges in it and they don't get very big. A lot of people call them poplar mushrooms, a lot of people it? call them little grays. But anyway, not too shabby. First one in our property today. This is the same kind you find around uh, cherry trees. Burke's giving you a thumbs up. Well, we're playing a game, and the game is, oh, that one, one of you guys stepped right on it. Anyway, the game is, which, look, hickory stick. More hickory sticks. The game is, uh, first one, which my youngest daughter found the first mushroom, gets a dollar. The biggest one gets a dollar, and the, the biggest most mushroom gets the dollar. Yeah, and and the most mushrooms get a dollar. Mm. 
So. And we all threw you And then Piper, I knew I smelled them. I could smell these, believe it or not. You can even ask my kids. I said I smelled them, and then we found them. He did say it. Oh, I see that. That's big. I just don't see it in. Oh, I see one. Well, folks, it's the Tuesday. I don't know, probably April 22nd, around there. Probably my last mushroom hunt of the year. I may try one more time. It's been an odd year. So I came back to where about, I don't know, four or five days ago. It's the only place I found some fresh ones. And I missed one, or it popped up since. So hopefully a bunch popped up where I found them before. It's a nice one. See if we can't get into a few. I, I, where I was walking, you could tell there's been a ton of people in here, but maybe they got deterred. And you can see somebody just missed this one, all those maple stomp down. It's a nice one. They're all, I mean, we shouldn't find none that aren't very, that are little. This is my later section of mushrooms. It's a beaut. <clears throat> so, stay tuned, see if we can't get some more. Number two doesn't look quite as good, but. They don't smell bad, so it'll eat just fine. I may get lucky here, folks. There's a little bit nicer one. Definitely a little fresher. Okay, we're in them. There's another one right there. And the rain that's not supposed to come for about seven more hours, I just heard thunder. Alright, I'm in some. So I just picked two. There's one. There's a really nice one. There's another nice one. Uh, this is just a spot. I don't know what causes them here. I find them in this area virtually every year if I get to be the first guy here anyway so let's do some picking that was number four Number five. Number six is a nice, nice one. Nice. That's a pretty one. It's a big one. Six. Seven. Let's see if we can't find a few more. Number eight was right here too. Then only took a step. I had to do some more hunting for number nine. These are all nice ones.
beautiful. Man, these are nice. I still feel like I'm picking what people missed, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I can't, I'm, I know I'm not because I saw the footprints, but decent. Another good one. Freshest one of today. Big one. May have been stepped on when it was young. Could have been me, because I've been through here for sure. So I'm pretty ecstatic because I wasn't truly expecting this, but I knew it was a possibility, so had a little time, decided to go.